Meanwhile, Nicola Sturgeon has demanded Rishi Sunak cause an immediate general election after he won the latest conservative leadership contest. The First Minister said the former Chancellor of the Exchequer would become another example of a Prime Minister that Scotland did not vote for. The SNP leader warned him not to reimpose austerity amid fears that the UK government will be forced to slash public spending. Rishi Sunak will be yet another Tory Prime Minister that Scotland hasn't voted for. And if Scotland was given the opportunity today, I would uh, bet my bottom dollar uh, that Scotland would not vote for Rishi Sunak as Prime Minister. So this is the position Scotland is in, having to cross our fingers and hope for the least worst option in terms of UK governments. And again, I would say we can do better than this. We can choose our own governments and we can actually apply our own values to leading uh, Scotland on the track that we want rather than being taken down the wrong track by successive UK governments. Uh, back in the European Union uh, and in charge of our own destiny. That's what independence offers Scotland and it's got to be better than this chaos uh, and economic carnage that has been inflicted on us by one Tory Prime Minister after another. It's going to be the fifth Prime Minister in the years that I've been First Minister. Now, I'm only saying that to illustrate the instability and the uncertainty and the chaos that the Tories have unleashed on all of us. They have no mandate. And, you know, it is a democratic necessity that people get their say on who occupies number 10 Downing Street and that this isn't just decided by Tory MPs or at most by the membership of the... Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.